Hey, it's Eric from the Saltwater Edge. It's winter here in Rhode Island, which means the fishing has slowed down, the landscape has gotten a little dull, but the water is crystal clear. We want to take advantage of that crystal clear water and show you guys how some different lures perform in the water at an angle you may not normally get to see them at. And this is the angle uh, that the fish will see them at. This is above, the fish usually see them from below or from the side, but it'll give you guys a better idea of what that lure is doing in the water. Uh, this video today is going to focus on our four most popular minnow plugs at the shop. And we're going to start out with the Daiwa SP Minnow. Um, this lure has been around for years. It's probably in every uh, tackle box and surf bag in the Northeast. Uh, it performs amazingly, catches a lot of fish, and let's take a look at how it swims through the water. Up first we have the Daiwa SP Minnow. This is a floating version. We chose the black color so that you can see it a little more clearly in the water. This plug is easily one of the most popular lures at the saltwater edge. We sell a ton of them. I think just about every angler in the Northeast has or has had one of these in their tackle box at some point. You can see it's got a really tight wiggle to it. Uh, not a ton of uh, variability to the, the action. Even if you speed it up or slow it down, it's going to have that consistent swim pattern, just a, a real consistent plug overall. Works great. We have a, a video on switching out some of the hooks on it to singles without affecting the swim pattern. You guys should check that out if you're interested in it. Next up is the Yozuri Hydro LC Minnow. Uh, this is another lure that's become incredibly popular over the past couple of years because it performs so well. Uh, this lure holds up really well to a lot of fish, catches a lot of fish, comes with some nice hardware. Um, it's got a little bit of a different lip than the Daiwa SP Minnow. And so let's take a look at how that performs in the water. You can see immediately right off the bat that it has uh, a slower, wider kind of roll to it, a roll and wiggle rather than just that tight wiggle from the SP Minnow. Um, striped bass seem to really like that that slower roll. Uh, this is again one of the the more popular plugs at the saltwater edge. This is the floating version of the plug, but there are sinking versions available depending on what depth you're fishing. Uh, just a really really nice looking plug and a, a good comparison to the SP minnow with the the real tight consistent wiggle of the SP Minnow versus the, the slow roll of this, uh, the Yozuri Hydro Minnow. Next up is the Yozuri 3D Crystal Minnow. Um, this is a little smaller than the other minnow plugs we're showing today. Uh, great for imitating a smaller bait or a, a faster bait. Um, these 3D prism lures from Yozuri are really great. They, uh, they shine really well in the water. They seem to stand out and attract some really nice fish. Um, but let's take a look and see how it swims. This is a, another really popular plug for us here in New England, and we also send a lot of these down to Florida. Uh, it seems like the snook really like this plug as well. You can see as it gets going that it's again, uh, it doesn't have that slow roll like the Hydro Minnow does. This is more like the SP Minnow. Uh, it's also diving deeper, even though it is a, a floating plug, it's diving a little deeper than it looks like both the SP and the Hydro Minnow. It's a great plug when smaller baits around um, or you need something a little flashier. It does have that, that crystal inside that just has a great flashy action to it. And last up for today's test is the Nomad Shikari. This was a new lure to us this past spring and it performed really well. Uh, I personally fished this lure a lot. Um, some of my favorite things, it's got a little, little larger lip on it. Uh, comes with some really nice BKK hardware, and it is a through-wired plug, uh, which sets it apart from the other plugs here. Uh, it has some interesting facets on the side, a really clean paint job that holds up to a lot of fish. Um, I think you guys will like it if you haven't tried this minnow plug out yet, and let's see how it swims. This is a plug coming from some Australian designers. Uh, maybe you haven't seen Nomad Designs yet, but they make a lot of really interesting products. The Shikari is included in that. Tight wiggle to it, um, again a little more of a deep dive even though it is a floating variant uh, than the Hydro Minnow, but still stays up pretty high so you can fish it shallow. Uh, this plug has a little bit of an interesting taper to it, uh, which makes for a, uh, a little bit of a different swim pattern than you get on the SP and the Hydro, and it certainly doesn't have that slow roll like the Hydro Minnow has. 
Here's a look at all four minnow plugs swimming at the same time. It's interesting to see how the hydro minnow really stands out as having that slow roll while the other plugs concentrate on having a, a tight wiggle. I was curious as to what made these plugs have different actions, so I decided to go to the source and talk with someone involved in lure design and development. All right, so joining us here today is Chris Bishop of Yozuri Lures. Um, I see Chris at, uh, at a lot of trade shows and events, uh, but he also does a lot more than that. He's, a, he's more than just a salesman. Um, Chris is traveling the world, fishing Yozuri, uh, giving feedback on lures, designing lures. Um, and Chris, what, what else do you do at Yozuri? Uh, sweep the floor, uh, just, about, just about everything from top to bottom. So yeah, I, I'm the vice president of sales and marketing for all of North America. Um, and uh, I also work with our product development team in Japan. I'm lucky. That's that's probably one of the most exciting parts of my job is uh, having a hand in lure design. Um, and, you know, we've made a lot of quality new products for the Northeast in particular over the last 10 years. Um, you know, and a lot of products that have really taken off in that in that stripe that straight bass fishery. So uh, I've got to spend a lot of time up in the Northeast doing some straight bass fishing myself. And I have to say, it's one of my favorite fisheries. So um, kind of the two go hand in hand. I love the fish. I love the fish lures. And now I get to play around and design them. So I feel like a kid in a candy store with this job and a lot of times. That's great. Where well, your passion definitely shows. Um, what was the, uh, what was the last fish you caught? Oh, the last fish I caught? Uh, it's been slow here in Florida this year, man. Uh, El Nino has not been kind to us this fall and winter from a weather standpoint. Not not that I can complain compared to what you guys deal with up there in the winter, but uh, no one's turned off the fan all fall and all winter long here, so it's been a little slow. Yeah. Um, been catching some big triple tail lately, um, you know, from time to time. Been, you know, it's kind of moved into our winter pattern. So we're doing pompano fishing and shark fishing from the beach, uh, which you can actually get the sharks on lures. My last time up in the Northeast, I was actually, I made quite a few trips to Jersey in the fall. And uh, my last trip was right before the, uh, the Folsom show in uh, the first week of December. And we we're catching a lot of schoolie fish off the beach down in the seaside area. Um, not any big fish, you know, 25 to 35 inch fish, but uh, a ton of fish, ton of life on the beach well into December. So uh, I think we probably, in two days, I probably caught 30 uh, bass off the beach, um, all on lures. So it That's was great. all on, all on plug, hard baits, you know, didn't have to bust out the swim shad. So yeah, it, that, that was a good trip. That's awesome. Well, today we've got you here today. Uh, we are doing a video comparing some different minnow plugs um, and two of our most popular minnow plugs at Saltwater Edge are the uh, Hydro Minnow and the Crystal Minnow. Uh, so I thought it'd be great to get you on to kind of talk about those plugs and uh, and give the viewers a little more information on them. Um, so what gives these minnow plugs their action? Um, you know, I'm looking at, looking at the Hydro Minnow here and I, I noticed that there's a taper to the body, there's a small lip on it. Um, I know it's weighted on the inside. It has the, the transfer, um, the the uh you know weight transfer on the inside so what would you say gives gives this lure most of its action so when you have a when you have a swimming plug there's uh, really two things one is lip and one is body shape so when i say lip you're looking at size shape and angle so um you know the hydromen lc has a very very small lip we did that on purpose because number one it's a surf plug um, so especially down in Jersey where the beaches are very tapered, it's not a quick drop off in a trough. This bait was made to run to where it wouldn't hit bottom, even if it's in two feet of water. So that's something that's made it very successful for it, but it's, and it has a more rounded lip as well. So in our minute, you know, Yozuri has a number of minnow baits in our lineup and there's quite a few really unique lips. This is kind of your standard small surf bait style lip really small really tight the crystal minnow has a more extended uh lip gets it's made to swim three to five feet so it has that deeper that deeper lip uh and then look you look at body shape so when you're comparing the two uh the lc is a very rounded body shape so that type of body shape coupled with a small lip gives it a real nice rolling type action 
whereas the flat sides on the crystal minnow give it more of a tight uh, wiggle action. Uh, combined with that lip, it runs a little bit deeper too. So it's really lip design and shape and then the style of the body. Um, as far as the internals, they're really weighted very, very similar. Um, and that weight transfer system really doesn't do anything from a, from a uh, swimming action standpoint. It's really only for casting. If you were to have a clear version of the LC, you would see that the ball for the weight transfer system actually sits right above the front hook. And then the weight in the crystal minnow sits right above the front hook. So the balance is, is very, very similar. Um, it's just that lip design and that body shape that give it two very, very distinctly different swimming actions. That's really cool. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna mention, you know, at this point in the video, I think the viewers will have seen the the swim test, and you can really see that roll in the hydro minnow versus the kind of tighter wiggle in the uh, in the crystal. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the questions we get asked a lot about minnow plugs is, what's the difference between a minnow plug and a jerk bait? So I saw that question and. Uh, that really got me to thinking because I really um, it's kind of like one of those things when you look at it, you just know. So you really never put much thought to it. You know, if you were to show me two of our baits, I could tell you, you know, right off the bat, whether it, it's a jerk bait or a minnow. Um, but when I thought about it, what really makes a difference to me is both baits are going to have a, a relatively similar swimming action on a straight retreat. The big difference is when you fish it with a twitch and pause. When you fish a jerk bait with the twitch and pause, it has a very erratic darting action. It's designed that way. Many of the jerk baits have flat sides that gives it that kind of knifing action. But when you take a minnow bait like the LC and you give it a twitch and pause, it really doesn't have any different action than it does on a straight retrieve. It just has a quicker pace to it. So it really keeps that, that same, it'll have that lazy wobble action. And when you if you pause it, it'll pause. When you twitch it, it'll give that lazy swimming action, that same exact swimming action, just a little quicker, and then pause again. Whereas if you were to twitch it, a jerk bait, it would have a totally different action, a totally different, quicker darting action, more erratic action than it does on a straight retrieve. That's really what separates to me jerk baits and minnow baits. For me, in the majority of the cases, I'm fishing a standard minnow bait. Um, but there is certainly applications for jerk baits as well. Okay. Very interesting. Um, and so that kind of brings us to the next question, which is uh, what are your favorite retrieve styles for the minnow plug? So for the LC, and this is a little sneak preview of a new color that won't come out until ICAST of this year, <laughs> uh, ICAST 2024. But um, for me, uh, a slow steady retrieve is probably 80 percent of the retrieves with this plug for me so striped bass uh, especially bigger fish seem to key in on that slow type uh retrieve now i'll vary my rod tip height um so in a lot of cases with this plug because the lip is so small especially with longer surf rods if you have it with a tip with your tip very high up, it's really almost going to be like a wake bait action on a slow retrieve. It has that rolling type action right on the surface, almost like you would with a surface metal lip. And that's one of my favorite ways because I think that's something that straight bass key in on. And I think that, you know, it also gives you, you know, almost what I would consider a topwater bite when you see the strike. So that, that would probably be that slow, steady retrieve you know, whether it's, you know, straight bass, tarpon, or even when I'm, I use this plug offshore fishing for King mackerel down here in Florida around bait schools along the beach, they like that slow, steady retrieve near the surface as well. Um, I will, in some cases, um, you know, especially not as much in the Northeast, but down here in Florida for certain species, I'll have a steady retrieve, but I'll absolutely burn it. That's one of the things I love about this plug um is that if you burn it it doesn't kick out a lot of small lip minnow baits if you burn them too fast they'll turn over on their side and they'll kick out so in certain aspects especially when fish are feeding very aggressively uh whether it's bonitas or uh blackfin tunas or king mackerel or 
uh, on the, when I go fishing on the West Coast, this is one of my favorite plugs to throw up a calico bass. They love a fast retrieve. So really put the tip down, turn the handle as fast as you can. One other way I'll well, do it, and I, I've caught a lot of nice king mackerel off the pier down the piers down here in Florida on it, is actually throw it out, let it settle on the surface, and not a hard twitch, but kind of a soft pull, like with a couple cranks of the handle, like one, two, and it kind of darts and then just slowly pops back up on the surface. It, and I'll work it really slow all the way in like that. And especially king mackerel, that's when you get those bites that you've seen on the internet where they sky on plugs and are 10 feet in the air. That retrieve really gets them to eat on this type of plug that way. They really want to pick out the most injured bait fish off to the side. So uh, particularly for that species, that works. But again, 80 I'd say 80% of the fish I've caught on this bait, I've caught on just that slow uh, and methodical steady retrieve. Very cool. Um, so we've gone over retrieve styles, the hydro versus crystal. And I guess the, the final question for you here today is, uh, is where would you fish both of these plugs? So in what circumstances, uh, particularly for striped bass, um, would you choose one or, over the other? Well, for the Northeast, uh, I, I would say for striped bass, for me personally, you know, I'm going to use the LC probably 90% of the time. Um, uh, it's the plug I'm going to use from the surf. It's the plug I'm going to use if I'm on the boat and I'm chasing, you know, fish that are moving pretty quick on bait schools and I'm chasing birds uh, because it just gets you that extra distance with that weight transfer system that it has in it. Um, and I like and I really like the action. And then the lip for the surf is perfect because it doesn't dive deep, even in, you know, a jersey type surf action where I would use um, the crystal minnow is. In circumstances where I was sight fishing. So if you get on a flat and you, if you're lucky enough to have a fishery where you can sight fish quality striped bass on a, on a flat and you're throwing to either packs of fish or individual fish, the crystal minnow is a great plug for that. And the reason for that is it lands a lot softer. So the LC is a true long distance casting lure with a weight transfer system but it's going to hit the water with a little bit more violence. This is a, the crystal minnow is one where like down here in Florida, I also fish it a lot in dock lights. So if you're doing some bridge light fishing, or if you're doing some dock light fishing from the boat and you're trying to throw something into a small confined area and not spook the fish with how the plug lands, that's where you go to this, the crystal minnow. Crystal minnow is also, you know, we make in some much smaller sizes. So if you're trying to, so if I'm trying to downsize and match, uh, match the hatch to something like, you know, some small sand eels or some small spearing or something that they're feeding on, that's when I'll drop down and fish the crystal minnow as well. So also another place, whether it's snook or snook here in Florida or straight bass up in the Northeast, if I get around the jetties and especially if there's some, some, you know, mid-sized fish, some slot size fish for either species, and they're really close to the rocks, that's when I'll go with a crystal minnow. Um, because with its lip, it actually stays in the water much better when it gets close to you than the hydro minnow LC does. But for the most part, when it comes to straight bass fishing, I'm either going with the six inch or the six and three quarters, usually for me, the six and three quarter uh, hydro minnow LC. Yeah, that's definitely our most popular size at the shop. Is the bigger one? Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. That's real regional. Once you, um, you know, from like Long Island North, the larger size is definitely the most popular. Jer Jersey, the six inch, for some reason, is kind of ingrained in their head as being the, the most popular size. But certainly up in Cape Cod, you know, from Rhode Island up into the Cape, that, you know, that bigger size. I even use it. My two biggest bass I've ever caught in the Cape Cod Canal were actually both on the bigger size LC. So really? Four 49 and 49 and a half inches. Um, so they were both, they were both on the LC with that slow rolling action on the surface. So yeah, um, yeah that's, uh, that's two, two of my favorite plugs. Uh, definitely the LC I'd say of, if you counted the top five plugs I've caught the most fish on in my life, the LC is definitely in there for sure. Great. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to share your knowledge with us today. Um, and, uh, if people want to learn more about Yozuri and you, Chris Bishop, where can they go? So 
Uh, I spend all my time working for Yozuri, so everything you'll find about me, you'll find on the Yozuri pages. But uh, if you want to see product information, check out our website, www.yo-zuri.com. And then check out our YouTube page, because on there, there's quite a bit of videos with explanations on these two products and also other uh, products for the Northeast market. Or if you're going on vacation anywhere, we've probably shot a video there. So check it out. It really goes over a lot of the products. we got some great uh, drone footage and underwater footage of the baits and explanation on how to fish them. So check out our YouTube page and our website. Sounds good, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video on four of our most popular minnow plugs here at the Saltwater Edge. Uh, and you got to see how they swim. And it was really fun to talk to Chris Bishop from Missouri about the different technologies and shapes and designs that go into creating a minnow plug. This is the type of video you like. Uh, please leave us a comment below, uh, like the video, subscribe to our channel. Uh, let us know what you want to see more of. It helps us decide what to make next. Thanks.